Uh, yeah, hi, I'm Sam Siddle, uh, Thunder One, Crew Soup of the Thunderbird Unit Crew. Uh, we're here at the White Rock Lake Fire. Uh, this is our second deployment here. Before this, we spent two deployments on the Sparks Fire and a deployment in Quebec. We're here today just punching in a fuel free uh, for potential ignitions uh, on our fire. Right, and whereabouts is this fuel free in relation to the rest of the White Rock Lake Fire? Right, so we're currently in Division Yankee, uh, just south of Highway 97, uh, closer to the northern tip of this fire. Uh, we're punching guard from the uh, night FSR down to Lady King Lake below us uh, to tie in a potential ignition area that uh, heavy equipment couldn't reach. Can you explain exactly what um, a fuel-free hand line is and what kind of terrain you're working in here and what, what goes into actually uh, finishing a fuel-free? Right, so uh, we're obviously working this piece of land by hand because it's inaccessible for equipment. Uh, it's quite a steep piece with larger diameter timber that challenge our bunchers, excavators, and dozers. Uh, the idea behind a fuel-free is, is to create essentially an area in the forest that is void of larger fuels so that the fire can't carry directly through. Uh, for this general area, we're putting in our fuel free from the bottom up. Uh, it starts with our fall or our line locators choosing a line uh, favorable for terrain if we're going to be using fire in here uh, and uh, fuel types <clears throat> and all that. So we start with our line locators uh, walking through and picking the correct line and then we move to our fallers who section the piece off and work progressively from the bottom up. After that we have our sawyers and swampers come through and uh, buck up all the pieces that the fellers felled and uh, swamp it off to feel free and then the final process is cutting our hand line which is just a uh, three foot two to three foot wide uh, dug guard line down to mineral store soil to uh, stop radiant heat and direct uh, fire transfer on the ground. Right, so this is almost over a kilometer long, this uh, piece of fuel free here. So how many um, how many people are on your crew and how long is that going to take them to complete this section? Uh, we are a unit crew, so there's 20 of us on crew. Uh, yeah, we're working uh, over a kilometer on the ground here with uh, about three quarters of this piece being over 100%. It'll probably take us two to three days to complete this piece. And uh, yeah. Awesome. Um, so it sounds like this is about your fifth tour. Um, and that's 14 day long tours, 12 to 16 hour days straight. Um, how's your crew been doing this season? How are they doing right now? Is it um, kind of gets to the end of it? Yeah, uh, we're, we're tired, um, but we remain focused. We understand that there's still a good amount of weeks left in the fire season of active fire so uh, just looking after each other out here it's, it's been four to five poles of, of really aggressive difficult fire behavior so we've seen a lot and we've we've learned a lot and uh, moving into our fifth pole here we're happy to start with a physical task to get our legs back underneath us and, and start moving again awesome. thanks sam and stay safe with your career this season thank you very much